Hey guys, in this video I'm going to go over how to, uh, just a couple problems with finding the area under the curve. Um, I'm not going to do the integration, but I'm just going to show how to set up uh, the equation so that we can find it. And so there's going to be a few different uh, scenarios. Alright, so the first one we're going to deal with is the area under a curve um, and all the areas above the x-axis. So we want to find the area bounded by this function f of x and x-axis between a and b. And so I'm concerned about this point here and this point here. Right? And so we want the area that falls between this entire region. So this in the yellow. If I can get a little bit of that filled in. All right, so we want to figure out that area. And so again, uh, we've talked about it in class with the definite integral. Um, the definite integral is a way to represent the area under the curve. And so we can easily do this by taking the integral from a to b. So we're going to start from the left and we're going to work our way to the right. So this is my lower limit, upper limit of the function f of x dx. This will give us the area between a and b uh, for this function, whatever this is. And so we would take the, or the integral of this, evaluate it from um, f of b minus f of a. So that's pretty straightforward. Uh, if the region that we're talking about is above the x-axis, we're just going to evaluate this definite integral. The second one we're going to talk about is the area under a curve uh, where some of the areas above and some of the areas below the x-axis. And so in this case, we're concerned about uh, this area here and then this area here. And so we opened up the limits from A to B and we included this. Now, when we talk about area, area must always be positive, okay? Now, a definite integral could get us a positive, a negative, or a zero result. So if we're specifically talking about evaluating an integral, we would just do the regular integral from A to B of f of x and that would give us our value. Now, if we speak to finding the area under the curve um, bounded by f of x on the x-axis, we need to consider this area, and we need to consider this area separately. And so right here, I'm going to call this point C. And so the way we're going to work this is we're going to integrate from A to C f of x dx. Now, I know because that area is underneath the curve, I'm going to get a negative value there, and that's not going to work for us. And so I'm going to make this a negative. You could also take the absolute value of this value, and that would work. To this area, we're going to add the area from C to B of f of x dx. And so again, the key to this one is finding where does our graph cross um, the x-axis so that um, the area underneath is negative and the area above is positive. Um, so where is that c value so that we can add this negative sign or take the absolute value of this integral? The next one we want to go through is area between two curves. And so here the blue is my f of x and the green is my g of x. And so we're looking at the area in this region right here. Right? So this is what we're looking at, is this area right here. Now, because we're talking about the area between these, we could shift these up and down and it doesn't matter. And so if we think about it, if we were to get rid of g of x, well, then the area underneath the blue would go all the way down to the x-axis. And then if we were worried about the area of the green, it would be everything below the green. And so if we want to find the area between the two curves, it's going to be a simple subtraction. The first thing we need to do, though, is we need to find these points of intersection. And so we need to find our limits. All right, and so I'm going to call this limit A, this limit B. And we can do that by setting f of g, or f of x, I'm sorry, equal to g of x and solving. That will let us know where these intersect, or you can use the calculator. Once we have those, 
all we need to do is take the integral. We're going to go from a to b, and it's going to be um, f of x minus g of x dx. Now, this can be confusing because I could have switched g and x and f of x. It's not necessarily always going to be that. So the easy thing to remember is it's always going to be the top function. So top minus the bottom dx. This will give us the area between this curve, these two curves. The next one is the same concept, except it's a little different. All right, if we look here, um, if we use what we did in the previous slide, where we do top minus bottom, we get an issue in these segments right here. All right? Because until this point right here, this function is above itself. And so we, need, we would need to break up that um, piece of the function and separate it into two separate functions and then we could use that same thing. However, not only can we integrate along the x-axis, we can also integrate along the y-axis. And so rather than working with dx's, I'm going to call this function f of y, and so it's going to be some function of y, and this green function, I'm going to call this g of y. And by doing this, we're going to be able to find the area, and we're going to integrate in this direction. So we're going to add up the little rectangles going this way, because remember, that's what the definite integral is. We're adding up those little rectangles. And so just like in the previous one, the first thing we need to do is we need to find these points of intersection. And so we're going to find uh, the limits of integration. And again, we can just set g of y equal to f of y, and that would give us those points. Now, the other thing we need to do is think about what's going to be our top, what's going to be our bottom functions, or um, like we did with um, the previous example. So in this case, the integral would be from, if I call this a, this b, it's going to be from a to b of g of y minus f of y. And instead of dx, we're going to use dy. Now again, because we can switch what these uh, functions are, rather than saying g of y and f of y, it's going to be the bottom limit minus the top limit. And we're going to go from the right function minus the left function, dy. And so g of y is the right function. It's the rightmost function on the graph. f of y is on the left side here. And so because we're interested in this area, this is the right, this is the left. And so sometimes it's going to benefit us by switching it from dx to dy's. And so that's three of four. And then the final one I want to go over is if the area between two curves that intersect more than um, more than once. And so if we look at this one, here's A, here's B, but then there's all other, this other intersection of C right there. And so this one, it's kind of a combination of um, the second one we went over when we need to split up the integral. And so if you notice here, this is the top, this is the bottom, but after C, this is the top, this is the bottom. And so if we want to find the area between these two curves, we're going to need to add up this area, and then we're going to have to add up this area. And so we're going to have to do two separate integrals to be able to calculate that area. And so let's see how we would set that up.
Now it's going to be the same as our third integral to find the area between two curves. It's going to be the top minus the bottom. And so in this case, the blue is f of x and the yellow is g of x. And so we'll have the integral from a to c. My top function here is f of x minus g of x dx plus, I'm going to have to go down here to make some room, the integral from c to b. Now we're going to switch. Now my top function is the g of x minus f of x dx. And so that will be the area between these two curves. And again, you're going to have to find these points sometimes, a, c, and b, so that we can plug these, uh, you know, figure out what these numerical values are. And again, to do that, we would use um, the fact that f of x equals g of x to find the intersections. Okay, so again, I hope this helps with finding the area between the curves of a function and the x-axis or the area between two curves.